Alright, it's gonna get real. See the title of this video? Let me explain what that means. And this is coming from me. This world we live in is so messed up. And I hope that some of you guys agree with me. And what I'm and, and, and this is what this is this is what I'm talking about. This is what I, this is what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that this world is so messed up. These people, these human beings, nobody gives a crap anymore. Nobody eh, 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 whatever. You know, and, and I'm using my phone to uh to do this video, so I'm gonna pretend like always that my wallet is my phone. Everybody, everybody, the, everybody is like freaking robots, okay? They're like, like everybody's disconnected because everybody is doing this. No, nah, I don't want to call them. I'm just going to, I'm just going to text them. Uh, 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 I'll just, uh, I'll say that, I'll say happy birthday on Facebook. Uh, happy birthday. Oh, I said it. See, I said happy birthday. Can't say I didn't say it. You didn't call me for my birthday. Oh, I said it on Facebook. Oh, 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 never mind. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a break. Look, I went to Disney World on Easter with my family, and we had a blast. But like Disney World, the rest of the world, the rest of the world, the human beings in this world, everybody's all messed up. Because while I was in Disney World, everybody... Everybody, parents, children, park of everybody. They, we're online for the freaking rides, and they're going like this. What? You're on vacation with your family, and you're doing this. Oh, thanks, mom and dad. We're having so much fun. We, we, we. They're online. And the thing, the thing is, is that I guess, like, uh, if, you, if you're familiar with amusement parks, there's this thing called Fast Pass, which means you could schedule your time to go back on the ride, okay? And what you do is, now, at Disney, there's an app to set up your Fast Pass times. And they say on the phone, okay, you can come back to this ride at 1230, be here at 1230 to use your Fast Pass. And you reserve, and you, re and you reserve your time, and you have a wristband that programs the time so when you get to the fast pass line you take your wristband and you go like this bloop, and it's okay you're here you checked in and what the what is going on with this world why look I understand that technology is great it's a beautiful thing it makes things very convenient for people but what happened to values what happened to communication what happened to Sunday dinners at the dinner table with your family Nobody, look, I know everybody's busy with work if they have work and time time constraints, um, you know, oh, this one's at school, this one's at soccer practice, this one's uh, working late. So dinner as a family no longer exists. In my house, when I go home, when I'm home, I make sure, tell my son, hey, turn off the TV, babe, and we're having dinner at the table tonight, boom. We have dinner as a family. Like when I grew up, um, like when my dad, like when my dad grew up, his dad, my grandfather, worked crazy hours too. He had two jobs, three jobs, and the only time they could sit down together as a family was on Sundays. They made sure that Sunday dinner was always every, everybody. I don't give a shit what anybody's doing. Everybody is together for Sunday dinner. You sat down, the TV was off, you said your prayer. And you talked about how your week went. Everybody said, hey, how are you doing? The school's good. Work is good. bop a beep -bidi beep -bidi bop and, and you ate dinner as a family. Nowadays, nobody does that anymore. I think maybe that me and maybe a select few are the only ones that have freaking values anymore for just human... It, it's just like everybody's disconnected. Uh, hold on. Let me check my status. Let me tweet this. Oh, I'm having a salad at... The Cracker Barrel at 7.30, and I want everybody to know, yay, we check, 
Oh, look at the comments. Oh, a salad. Yeah, let me like that comment. Yes. Look, people, I'm going to tell you straight up, I love all you guys, all my people that follow me, all the people that enjoy my videos and everything. This is a lovely thing that I have such a nice following. It really is. But i got to tell you, if I didn't have a following and I wasn't good at videos or and my information was shit and, you know, whatever, um, I would not be on social media at all. I, like, when I started making these videos... And I noticed that, you know, nobody was viewing them or whatever, and I was hard, and I sucked at it. I would have stopped. I'd be like, yo, no one's watching my videos. I suck, whatever. I, I would have canceled my YouTube. I would have canceled Google. I would have canceled Facebook. And I don't even, like, people say, oh, you should do a Twitter. You should do a Twitter. No, no, I can't keep up with the freaking stuff I do now. Not, no, I can keep up with it. But why, why, oh, let me do a Twitter. Let me do a, 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 a an, ins, a, uh, uh, uh. What's the other one called? A, a face, a, a Facebook and a Instagram and Twitter and Smash Cam and whatever the frick is going on out there. Look, when I do an Instagram, I take a picture and post it up. Boom. I don't do no hashtags because I don't know. Not that I don't know how, but who gives a shit? It's like, oh, who the hell has time? Look, Facebook is one thing to read status updates and read what's going on. It's cool because it's like reading the news. But then Instagram and Twitter. Let me go to my Twitter now. Let me read. Oh, let me look up hashtag uh, balloons. And oh, there's a picture of balloons. And then oh, Twitter. Oh, I'm having a salad. Get the hell out of here, people. People, I see so many depressing videos on Facebook. Um, the other day I saw this video. Uh, it was titled a compassionate. I don't know, something. Anyway, the video was of a dog that got hit on the highway. And then the other dog, another dog found the dog on the highway. And the dog, the dog pulled... The other dog was trying to pull the other dog off the highway by it, not that teeth. Wasn't grabbing the dog by the teeth and dragging it off the highway. The other dog was grabbing it by the arms and trying to pull the, poor dog, the other dog that got hit off the highway. I was like, that's amazing. The other dog is risking its life to save the other dog. Then they showed, and then the, ta the caption said, uh, uh, now let's see the human version. I don't know if it was in China or I I Asia. It was somewhere over there. This poor baby, this had to be three or four years old or whatever. The freaking, uh, this van, the baby's walk, walking around without the mother. And the, you see the van, like a work van, pow, hit the baby. And then the van driver's like, what the hell just happened? Because he can't see because the freaking baby's laying on the floor under the tire now. And the guy, the van driver goes, eh, whatever, and just pulls forward. Now, the hit, him, hit the baby once. Now, he rolls over it again with the tire. Oh, my God. And people are walking by the baby going, eh, whatever. Now, there's no audio, so I'm sure the baby was screaming and crying because you see the baby laying there. And it made me so sick. People say, oh, why'd you watch the video? And I'm, you know, because I'm a human being. You're compelled. You want to see what the hell. It's like you're compelled to see it. It's like human beings thrive off of the drama it's like oh my god but i'm watching it and i'm thinking about it now and i'm sick and there's all these videos where these people are beating up babies and people that are hitting people and killing people and you got kids in school killing people and shooting people and this is a sick world people we need to get our heads out of our asses and start being humans and start caring about people because that's why the world is going to shit because nobody cares anymore. No, everybody's like, oh, I'm just worried about myself and my Instagram and my Facebook. That's all I give a crap about. They should, they should cut it all off. And when they do that, I'll make, a, I'll make a video signing off. Thanks for the fun. You know, whatever. Boom. But they're not going to do that because the government is controlling everything. And they want people to be depressed. They want people to, to struggle. We, as a people, need to get our heads out of our asses. We need to start caring about... We need to take the extra time to care. I could go on for hours with this video, but I'm not because I, I really... I could sit here and go on and on and on because I'm so pissed. I'm so disgusted with the way human beings act towards each other. If a dog gets hit by another, uh, hit by a car on a freeway, and another dog sent, I don't know how the other dog found it, but another dog, a dog, dogs got more compassion than humans. It's a sick world, people. Sick. Help somebody out. Help. The other day, I was in a truck stop. I saw a lady driver 
she was struggling to get her trailer straight in the spot. So I jumped out of my truck and said, hey, do you need help? She's like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm spazzing out. So I helped her. I was like, okay, look, pull forward. I, I guided her. You know, like, like when I do training, I said, okay, this way, that way, and I helped her get straight. She said, thank you so much. Take the time out to help somebody. If you see somebody struggling, you see somebody sitting on a park bench, walk up to that stranger and say, hey, how are you? Make somebody smile. Take the five minutes out of your day and make somebody smile. The video's getting too long, but you know what I'm talking about. Get the values, communication. Put the phone down. All day, I'm not saying put it down completely, but all day long, everybody, uh, uh. All right, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Stand by for some more crazy videos later. Um, if you agree with what I'm talking about, comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. All that crap. Like I said, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to vent. Just, just trying to say, you know, we need to step it up, people. We need to step our game up because it's only going to keep getting worse if we don't do something now. Hello? Hello? Goodbye.